In this operating system class we will see some more detail about virus and the categories of virus will fall under uh, files, boot, macro, source code, polymorphic, encrypted, still, tunneling, multipartite and R mode. Let us see all those things one by one. The most dangerous program threat is virus. It is a fragment of code embedded in a normal program and the virus are self replicating and are designed to infect the other programs. Okay, self replicating means it will copy multiple times by itself in the computer systems. Okay, then virus can modify or destroy the system files and causing the system crashes and program malfunctionings. Hence, the virus is called as most dangerous one. Okay, these are very specific to architecture that is computer architecture, operating system and the applications which are installed in the computer system. Okay, these are normally copied via email and they can also spread when users download viral programs from internet, file sharing services or exchange infected disk. So, through this the virus can be easily copied to the normal system. The first category of virus is file. The file virus appending itself to a normal file that is the program file and it changes the starting of program so that the execution jump to its code that is to the virus code virus code. So, the virus code will be first executed. So, after it executes, it returns the control to the program so that the execution is not noticed. Okay, suppose if we start to execute a program, so initially the program control will go to virus program, hence virus only executed. After executing this virus, then the control go back to the main program. Okay, hence the execution of virus is not noticed. The virus are sometimes known as parasitic virus as they leave no full file behind and leave the host program still successfully functional. Okay, they will not harm any, the, any of the host program but the starting of the program will execution will jump to the virus program. The next one is boot virus. Uh, the boot virus infect the boot sector of the system. This is very dangerous one and uh, this virus is executing every time when the system is booted and it will be loaded before operating system loads. And uh, this boot virus watches the other bootable media and uh, infect the bootable file systems. And these virus are also known as memory virus because they do not appear in the file system. The next one is macro virus. Uh, this virus will be written in low level language or a high level language. When come to low level language, the language is used to, to write the macro virus or assembly language or C language. When come to high level languages, it will be used in visual basic. And these virus are triggered when the program executing the macro code. Whenever the program execute macro code, the macro virus will be copied into our system. For example, the macro virus could be contain a spreadsheet file, right? This is called as macro virus. And when come to source code virus, it looks for the source code in our computer system and modifies it to include viruses and to help the uh, spread the virus into our system. So, this is source code virus. The next one is polymorphic virus. This is somewhat dangerous one because it changes each time it is installed to avoid detection by the antivirus software. Okay, that is the changes do not affect the virus functionality but it will change its signature. The signature means the pattern that can be used to, to identify the virus. Okay, and typically a series of bytes that makes the a virus code. Okay, so, this is called as polymorphic virus. See every time uh, the signature of virus will get changed so that the antivirus program cannot detect this polymorphic virus. 
The next one is encrypted virus that is an encrypted virus which includes the decryption code also along with the virus file okay and it is used to, to avoid the detecting this particular virus by using the antivirus software and first the virus decrypt by itself and then the program will be executed once the execution completes again it will uh, encrypt by itself. The stealth virus, it is a very tricky virus which attempt to avoid detecting by modifying parts of the system. So, it is very difficult to detect this stealth virus by using the antivirus software. Okay, for example, it could modify the read system call so that if the file has been modified uh, is read, the original form of code is written rather than the infected code. So, this is stilt virus. Tunneling, this is also another dangerous virus. Uh, this attempt to bypass the detection by the antivirus scanner by installing itself in the interrupt handler chain. Hence, this is very difficult to detect. Similar virus installed themselves in the device drivers. A multipartite, this is another most dangerous virus and this will able to infect multiple parts of our computer system which includes boot sector, memory and files. Almost everything will be affected by this virus. Okay, It makes difficult to detect and uh, contain. The next one is Arnold. This virus is very difficult to understand and hard to detect by antivirus software. It can also be compressed to avoid detection and disinfection okay, because the virus hide between the file attributes and unviewable file names. This is very hard to detect. Hence, deleting the virus is not at all possible. Otherwise, we have to delete the complete file. Up to this, we have seen uh, various threads that is various categories of threads like file, boot, macro, source code, polymorphic, encrypted, steel, tunneling, multipartite right, and armored. In the next class we will see another important topic from 5th unit. Thank you.